All right. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of uh, the devlog. Working on these, uh, this uh, Terraria fan game project I'm making. And uh, let's uh, show you something. I haven't done much on world building, but there is going <coughs> to... I'm decided um, that I'm going to use the items in the, the Terraria items in the game to build a uh, player shop uh, of sorts. So you can, uh, you know, you go, you fight uh, enemies, you go out, you bring items, you set it on the table, and it will sell... Uh, I, I, I'm thinking of two ways I could do the selling. One is what I have it already. Is when you set an item here, it auto sells. Or two, uh, two, it could be when an NPC walks by and once they collide with that item, boom, it sells. Or it is a chance for them to buy the item. Uh, that's the two easiest ways I can think of doing it. Uh, currently, there's, uh, there's lots of ways you could probably uh, do it, but those are the two ways I would uh, consider it currently for what I've got. Going. Okay, so oh yeah, I made this uh, this tree, dude. You know the uh, morning wood. Well, I went and made uh, uh, a bigger version with four arms, and it made them look a lot spookier. So yeah, it's like a giant morning wood, dude. Uh, ignore him for now. So this area right here with the little brick, bricks above it, this is a spawn location. There will be multiple of these throughout the level. This is uh, for the enemies to um, to spawn in. They're, they're behind it so you wouldn't see them. And they can uh, either go that direction or that direction. Now these ones are without the, without the top for now. These are uh, spawn despawn locations. So if uh, certain enemies go in, like they're... Say they, um, you spawn an enemy in, and they pick a random one, two, three, or four, and they'll go, and then they'll go into it, and then despawn, and or they'll go this way, and maybe say they're going to here, they'll go past this one, and then despawn. But they also go behind these. Last time I uh, showed off this, this is Solaire. I made a little Terraria version of Solaire in the game. A little walk animation for him. And, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, this is all stuff from the... I haven't really messed with from the first video. If you'd like to check that out, go back to the first video. I see that that's off right there, but... We're not worried about that. Anywho, um... Let me think real quick. Okay, yeah. So, instead of going to a new scene, we now overlay a scene over, uh... Over... You know, I'll show you. So, like, before we get to that, real quick, real quick look at here's what I'm talking about. We'll have a bunch of different skeletons, all the different skeletons, because I'm doing a, a skeleton event, and you know, they'll go to their. See, they're, see, these guys are going over here, so they're going to go in there and despawn. And some are just going here and despawning, some are going past because they're going to other environments. And they'll just walk and go. There's a maximum of 24 of these dudes can be out at one time. I see that there was a... I saw someone popping up. Going right through there. Huh. That was weird. Not sure what that was. I don't see it again. Yeah, whatever. Oh uh, yeah, so all the different skeleton dudes. You got the Mythos Symbol Skeleton, the Headache Skeleton... Uh, Angry Bones. You got the large versions, the small. These are the tiny ones, and then I think you get the regular, regular ones. Like yeah, there's a regular. There's a giant, and uh, yeah, the alien skeleton. These are the Halloween ones, because I have it set to where uh, it checks the date now. So uh, if it's Halloween, it will spawn the Halloween themed enemies as well, and. Um, but we want to see. You want to see what I'm talking about here. Uh, click on. Oh, we're not. You gotta be in the game. Click on. Ignore the uh, the UI. That's a lot of temporary things. Except for this. This is this is not. So we got. Now we. Oh, let me uh, pause this. So once you uh, you click on an enemy, it will overlay this scene over. As you can see, here we are. We're overlaid over the uh, actual game world. And when we play the in the enemy's environment music, 
or boss music depending on whether they're a boss or they're a regular enemy and then uh, here's all the information for them this uh, this I have to take out because I'm doing I'm doing loot differently so when you kill an enemy that had gotten loud when you kill when you kill an enemy uh, they drop tickets they'll drop their for now there's only one ticket type one ticket type yeah and they uh, they'll have their respective ticket types and you can use that on a vendor somewhere in the world here we'll have a vendor I don't know where but we can use that we get loot from that specific loot pool and then uh, yeah usually currently I'm using the um, the, the I Cthulhu trophy as the ticket so uh, let's see here we kill them the uh, environment music for that enemy or boss music will end uh, yes I'm doing like 1200 damage I believe right now but uh, we'll, we'll have something a little different for the for the attacking but for now that's um you know and there's our ticket well wow, we got it voila ticket okay now to get back just click this button that says very obvious button and boom we're back now there there's the skeletons still spawning constantly but like I said it's a maximum of 24 because I don't want to uh, I don't want it to bog down the game uh, we may be able to take that up depending but for now yeah that's pretty much that that uh, if you want to see it, I can click on angry bones now I am having an issue with my angry bones I don't know what it is but he's not showing up I'm having that issue with all the angry bones but the okay uh weird had a major issue there that I didn't just discovered <laughs> so something um something was overlaid there that was weird I mean they had two music uh, the the anger bones and the regular uh, skeleton uh, music was going over each other see click on click click oh <laughs> I can't click the little fast dude <laughs> anyway it's okay fine and there we go we got a skeleton so we see him and there we go we got a ticket all right um the ticket is not ideal i'd rather have the loot but we're not doing uh loot is not like saved loot we're not doing saved loot because uh i've been having issues and there's a lot of complications so anyway let me show you where, where are the where are my enemies they're in prefabs. Uh, green slime here. Okay, let's. Uh, was it this one, or was it a different one? Was it you? It, no, it wasn't you. You that's because he's a prefab. I'm trying to find. What? Yeah, here we go. Enemies. Green slime. All right. See, for music. Uh, th like this green slime. So normally you see them in the forest, right? So we got the forest, overworld night, uh, the town night. I use that just to add a little extra uh, variance to the uh, to the green slime. And then we got the uh, forest night, otherworld, or otherworld, otherworldly, because you know they have the uh, otherworld tracks uh, from the canceled otherworld game in the in Terraria. So we we'll use some of those just to, like to give it a variant, to not to have the same exact uh, track every single time. And the same goes for like Demon Eye has the same music because, uh, well, Demon Eyes can be really anywhere at night, but I just you know you can't really use every single. I'm not going to use every single track for you know like o o Overworld, um, Corruption or Surface Corruption or whatever. Then like for the boss here. Now he's got boss one and uh, boss one otherworldly, and then on the old gen he used to use boss five. So I'm also using boss five because I play Terraria on like Xbox 360 a lot, and I remember some bosses like Akram was one of my favorite bosses, and he's actually uh, he's in my uh, testing area right there. Bam, Akram, phase one, phase two, and a servant of Akram. And a bunch of other crap I got in there. Yes, I'm bringing back Akram. Because I love him. 
Anywho, uh, that's, uh, oh, before we do that, let's me, where's all that extra stuff I had? Um, shop, it was all this, yes, a bunch of different, uh, bacon, I had, I had a bunch of bacon here, with little menus above them, so we can, uh, I wanted to see, I was testing to see whether they, uh, drop, and, you know, for uh, physics. So, yeah, they all just drop and fall over, and well, that the towers, little, little towers are gonna knock each other over, and and all that. Anywho, don't worry about that. Right now, so this is the uh, the shop menu, right? Our shop request, because the shop will have uh, a request. So, like, say they want bacon too, which is. This bacon, you can drag. Yes, you can drag and uh, drop these things. Voila! But uh, I just took the, the regular bacon and made a red bacon, so I could test two different items. You know, so we can drop this on here. I know this little. This is awkward. I need to figure out a better way to have this uh, bar. And then there you go. Bacon two has been sold. We can drop multiple bacon's on there. Oh, bam! All right, and it's supposed to. And now, yeah, that's what it is. And if it, there's a, uh, it'll randomly pick another item when it sells. This is the current setup, though. I might change it to the other way I described it. But yeah, now bacon. You can just shove all these items on here, and they have a a square hip box. I might change it to uh, something else, but for now. Yeah, that's that. These are the uh, current things that I'm doing and working in progress. Uh, uh, if you're not fully understanding, there won't be, you're not going to be a player walking around the world. You're the camera here, right? So you're going to be able to interact with things like drag the bacons around and drop them onto the table. You'll be able to click on an enemy and attack. go to the attack uh, menu and attack them. The attacking will be a lot better than just clicking on them. I'm going to have something there for that. And yeah, that's that. And this wall is the, uh, the dynasty wall, right? It's a little bright. So I might, uh, I might change that wall. And I might, uh, I gotta, I, there's things I gotta fix. But for now, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you see, maybe drop a like or subscribe. Uh, I do daily in-game content, and every so often I do devlogs for this and maybe other products I have in the works. And I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps!